Sam, there is no doubt that there'll be an impact on the job market. But we need to decide whether we, are, we want to be on the side where we are losing jobs or we are creating jobs. Do you find the tech speak confusing sometimes? What is predictive analytics, machine learning, and what are the building blocks of AI? If you're keen to find out, join us on this episode of Tomorrow's Tech. I'm Samantha Garbett, joined today by Shalendra Kumar, Vice President and Chief Evangelist for SAP. Shelley has been instrumental in driving SAP analytics and discussions about intelligent technologies across the Asia-Pacific region. With a knack for understanding the art of possibility, Shelley's focus has been on helping organisations drive money and value out of their data. Welcome on the show, Shelley. Thank you for having me, Sam. Shelley, from your perspective, what are the building blocks of AI and how can we bring them together to create value? Uh, Sam, before we talk about um, the building blocks, we should talk about what is AI. I think there is a bit of confusion and needs a bit of clarification. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. So artificial intelligence is mimicking human intelligence and behaviors. Let's take this uh, example. Let's see how uh, humans interact. Uh, humans ingest information using video visuals, uh, vid which is yes. eyes, um, using audio, using taste, which is sensory. Absolutely. That information gets into the brain and the brain then processes that, applies some kind of intelligence and then decides in nanoseconds um, how it needs to be reacted to the situation. How, how the human will react to that situation. Now take that to machines. Machines, on the other hand, take the information um, through video, audio, text, and even machine data. They apply data intelligence and uh, NLP, uh, conversational NLP, and then take that information, um, put that into a machine learning model where then it takes a decision how that machine will react back to the humans. And that is creating artificially intelligence. That is artificial intelligence. Now the building blocks of AI. So what we saw was the key requirements of the key building blocks were data intelligence, conversational NLP, analytics, machine learning, big data in the cloud. Now, wh when I say in the cloud, the important thing here is the orchestration and automation in the cloud so that all that data, all that information is accessible uh, in real time in near real time. And that is what is AI. Excellent, thanks for breaking that down. Now, even though there were similarities between the goals and processes for a predictive analytics and machine learning, what are the key differentiators for our audience's understanding? Sam, uh, there are some similarities and differences between predictive analytics and machine learning. Let's take this, uh, let, let's try and understand this. Um, in predictive analytics, we use statistical modeling to solve a business outcome. But over a period of time, what happens is that the model gets out of whack, the data changes, and then you require human intervention to come and recalibrate the model. Whereas in machine learning, as the data changes, the model recalibrates itself. And that is the core difference. And the model doesn't go out of whack ever. Uh, I can also give you an example. Go for it. So we use predictive modeling or predictive analytics to uh, target customers who are likely to buy um, a credit card, for instance, using logistical reg logistic regression. Okay. Now, what happens is over a period of time, customer behavior changes. And then you would require someone to come in and uh, tweak the logistic regression model so that you get the right people Correct. again, right? Whereas in machine learning, what happens is as the data is changing, as the customer behavior is changing, what is happening is the logistic regression model is tweaking by itself. So you'd never lose those customers who uh, were supposed to be targeted and are now being, not being targeted. That's a great example. And Shelley, how do you see AI will impact the job market? Sam, there is no doubt that there'll be an impact on the job market. But we need to decide whether we, are, we want to be on the side where we are losing jobs or we are creating jobs. Let's take that example uh, when cars were invented. When the cars were invented, lots of horse and carriage drivers lost their jobs because taxi drivers, taxis were created and taxi drivers came into play. But then those jobs were replaced by taxi driver jobs. Yes. Similarly, when self-driving cars come into play, um, a lot of um, well, almost taxi drivers will go, but then new jobs will be created. And that's key. And that's key. There's a huge opportunity for everyone to be part of this journey where AI is going to change the way we work and operate. Exciting times ahead. A lot of opportunity to be taken advantage of. Thanks for joining us on the show, Shelley. Thank you for having me.
Audience, if you'd like to stay on the forefront of how AI and data are changing the game, stay tuned weekly to Tomorrow's Tech LinkedIn, Facebook and Instagram. And let us know in the comments below an example of how you think AI will positively impact the job market. We look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for joining us and see you next time on Tomorrow's Tech. Tomorrow's Tech, presented by 3.digital.